Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, for today's Vlogmas, I'm gonna do a get ready with me for formal, um, or partially get ready with me, because I know that in the past, I never timed this right, and by the time I'm done getting ready, I'm like, got two seconds left before we have to go. So, today I'm going to do a partial get ready with me until I get stressed and run out of time um, while I talk about YouTube culture because we've been talking about this in our apartment for a little bit and I've been looking at it while at work and so I was going to talk to y'all about my thoughts on daily vlogs. Mm -hmm. or like vlog content in general. I am literally sweating. I'm lowering the temperature. I think my YouTube channel like originally was based on the idea of doing like daily vlogs and day in my life and like the concept of being like a productive work day and stuff like that. But I think it's like really frustrating to find um, people who do the kind of content that I'm looking for. It's very hypocritical. Um, in terms of what I want to watch. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments down below. But I think like in terms of what I'm looking for, for YouTubers, it's just like people who are- have a job. Yeah, that's literally it. I like- a real job. I really like YouTubers who have like real jobs or like corporate jobs, I guess is what we're talking about. And don't just call YouTubing their job because, or like people who aren't dropping out of college to be YouTubers because that's so unrealistic and I don't think that that should be things that we're teaching younger generations because the reality of being an influencer is just so unrealistic. And it's terrible that we're teaching like kids, like 14 year olds who are like really impressionable that, yeah, the, that we would make so much money off of ad revenue or from sponsorships and that's just not realistic at all. But like I was saying, like I like watching YouTubers who have corporate jobs or are still in college and but then that makes it difficult to produce content because like I know you can't, whoa, look at this blonde chunk of hair. Um, <laughs> I get surprised by that chunk of hair every time I see it. Um, but like it's difficult to produce content when you need to be at work or when you have school. But then, so then the only kinds of content that we see are the people who don't have corporate jobs or they work from home. And then it just means that we're constantly seeing content like grocery hauls or people who call going shopping a stressful day. Um, because the reality is that's not the most stressful thing that you'll ever face in your life. For me, it's just not relatable to be watching a millennial who goes to Whole Foods, does their laundry, goes to the gym, and then goes to bed, or is constantly like posting skincare routines with various different sponsored content. Um, and I just don't think, like that's what I used to watch. Like I'm not saying that that's not what I watch. Brief pause, because Alyssa's about to wash her hands. Sorry. Yeah, like I'm not saying that I didn't wa and I don't watch people who do grocery hauls and go to the gym and stuff like that because sometimes that's what I need, like, but I think I also am looking for people who are more relatable and have let, like, it's just content more similar to what I'm actually doing in my life too. Um, as soon as I take down this chunk of hair, I'm gonna go get more food because I didn't eat dinner yet and so I'm like snacking, I'm eating some mac and cheese and onion rings. A healthy dinner before going to formal. Oh yeah, I didn't even say what kind of formal I'm going to. We're going to Alyssa's dance company and dance ensemble formal. Um, as, a, as roommates, we're doing it as a, oh that's cute, as a kind of like last hurrah together. Just kidding. We're doing more things like together. But it's like the end of the semester. We're doing a fun treat yourself night. And, but back to what I was saying. I think it's just unrealistic for, ow, my earrings. Oh, it's just like, I'm, 
I don't think it's realistic for people to be thinking that at 18 years old you're gonna own I'm a house. I'm gonna be a YouTuber. I'm gonna be a YouTuber and I'm gonna have a house and a cute apartment in the city. Um, the people who are interested in being YouTubers are not going to be people with corporate jobs because you just don't have that time to edit and stuff like that. So then, and that's like the more realistic reality that I think younger generations need to be expecting because it is not realistic at all um, to be like 18 or to be 17 to drop out of high school, get your GED, to focus solely on YouTube, take that gap year and then suddenly have an apartment. Like it's just... Oh no, you're shading. I'm not shading, like it's not a shade of a person, it's just like a the lot of YouTubers. Of <laughs> yeah, multiple YouTubers are like that. It's just not realistic at all and people need a reality check. Sorry, that was like literally, this has literally been on my mind all week because I can't stop looking at Guru Gossiper. You're not gonna be relate creating relatable content all the time. Like as soon as you hit like, 30. Like there are a couple you, big YouTubers, yeah, but like, like when you hit 30, you're not. But like you all can my tell knows. when like people who are getting to that age start making content, like keep making the same content that they've been making since they were. Like, yeah, because your life changes. Okay, so I'm going to finish straightening my hair, and I will. Sorry, that was just a full rant, but I'm gonna stay in school, kids. Is the motto for, is the message, but. I'm gonna finish straightening this and then I'm gonna do my makeup and then we are going to formal. Okay, so my hair is straightened. Oh God, we're going down. Hi. Hi. My hair is straightened and we're gonna braid it. You want French braid, right? Yeah. No Dutch. No Dutch. Dutch. Otherwise I'm gonna look like a stegosaurus. Like a stegosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> we love this. I just see her head. <laughs> Wow, what a cute look. This is the look. Um, it's really, really good for formals and... This is what um, Ariana Grande. Yeah. This is what she feels like. Oh, yeah. Confirmed. I'm gonna put another hair tie in it. Ariana. Oh, thank you. Really hold next. it. It's okay. I'm gonna go get my makeup done. All right, I did not do a get ready with me. Completely, but we're ready now and we're going to formal, so Yeehaw, Yeehaw. So you're going to formal without Sophia? No, Sophia's Sophia right ready. here. Yeehaw. Are you ready? <laughs> okay